Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in. All right, this week we got some clothing pickups. I believe two of them came from eBay. At least one, maybe two from Lids. And the other one was of a rock group that was pretty famous when I was in high school. With no further ado, let's get into this. All right, not 100% sure what, who this one is from. This may be an eBay pickup. Alright, yeah, this is an eBay pickup. I've actually already owned this shirt, but these shirts are hard to come by, especially in my size XL. So when I see them, if they're in good shape, I pick them up. So I doubled up on the Hundreds collab with Death Row. Very, very nice. So this is my second one of this exact same colorway and same shirt. So I was happy to get an extra one of those. Uh, it has the typical Death Row logo, but instead of where it says records, it says the Hundreds. Then on the back neck, it says uh, the Hundreds and Death Row once again. Has the hundreds tagging here with XL done in red. Very, very nice. I got this for $11.95. I thought that was a hell of a steal. It was definitely cheaper than the, the first one of these I picked up. So glad to have an extra one of those on standby. All right, this was a pickup that I did from Lids. This is my first pickup from them since Fanatics took them over. This shirt used to be on their website, but when Fanatics took over, they basically just did a Fanatics website with Lids branding. So a lot of the stuff that Lids used to have on their website isn't available on the Lids.com website right now due to the Fanatics takeover. So I had my eye on this shirt before the takeover happened, and... I just took the gamble that the lids by me would still have one on hand since it no longer shows it on the the new lids website. So, and I also was up in the air because I had so many pending points for my premium access membership that I would have had a ten dollar reward coming to me. So I didn't know like did that get pissed away or you know, did I still have it? I had no clue. So I went in there. Sure enough, they had this and they. Um, I get my email address, they pulled it up, so I got the 10% apparel discount um, that they offer in store, which they always offered that, but now since Fanatics owns them, it's 20% um, discount on apparel if you get it off the website, but still 10% in store. That's one of the few um, pluses I've seen from the Fanatics takeover is you can get the extra 10% on apparel on the website. Then they said that I still had my $10 reward there, so I was thankful for that. So I got a good steal on this. There's one similar to this, but made by a different company. Let's see. So the shirt originally retailed for $34. Then I got $3.40 discount for the 10% apparel. Um, discount that, that you get with the membership. Then I had the $10 reward, so I dropped it down to $20.60. Once you add sales tax back to it, it bumped it up to $21.83. So I got, you know, almost $13 below retail. This is made by Brand 47. It's a three-quarter sleeve Atlanta Brave t-shirt with the classic old school A that was made famous from back when Hank Aaron his record-breaking 715th home run. Very, very nice. I got this to go with the hat to match. It does have the distressed look on the logo. I don't know how well the camera can pick that up. Uh, there is one that's currently on the Lids website, but it's made by Majestic. And I don't think it looks quite, quite as nice as the Brand 47 version. I always like Brand 47. Very high quality um, merchandise, in my opinion. So it's got the old school A, distressed, got the brand 47 printed on the inside, got in size XL. It's got the tagging there, it says it's $34 in the Cooperstown tagging. Uh, the back is blank, 
but uh, also has the brand 47 uh, little tag there on the bottom left hand corner. I don't know how well the camera to pick that up. So I was happy they still had this. I think they had like two XLs left and a couple other sizes. I went to another mall that still had the shirt, but they only had medium was the biggest they had. So that's my second pickup and my first pickup since the Fanatics takeover of lids. All right. I think this might be the pickup from the rock group that I was a fan of in high school. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it is. All right. Many of my viewers are probably too young to be aware of who this is. Um, just going by my YouTube analytics, it says, you know, the majority of my viewers, I think, are um, in the teens to mid-20 range. But uh, for all you OGs out there around my age group, I got this uh, very dope Poison tea. They were a very famous rock group when I was in middle school and high school. Their biggest song, in my opinion, was probably Every Rose Has a Thorn. So I, we got the Poison logo here, and Every Rose Has a Thorn there. It's got like the skull coming out of the rose. It's actually printed very lightly. I was expecting the colors to pop a little bit better than that. But uh, it's printed on a Gildan T. Got it in size XL. I think this was $24.99 if I'm not mistaken. So I thought that was one of the dopest shirts on their websites in my, in my opinion. So... Got that. I also was a big fan of Def Leppard. Def Leppard is my favorite rock group from back then. Alright, this is a Lids pickup. This is my second pickup since the Fanatics takeover. I did the sh ship to home on this because at the time that I ordered this, I thought this was really weird. The ship to store that had always been free in the past... They were charging you $4.99 to ship to store and $4.99 to ship it to you. So I'm like, why would I pay $4.99 to ship it to a store when it comes in a stock order? And I'm like, I thought that was ridiculous. So I went ahead and paid the $4.99 to get it shipped to me. Because I normally would do the ship to store back before Fanatics had taken over lids. But uh, I just ordered a hat that I'll be doing a video on very soon that I haven't picked up yet. It actually got delivered to the Liz today, so I'm going to go pick it up tomorrow. And I did the ship to store on that, and it was free. So I don't know if maybe it's on select items you have to pay the $4.99 to have it shipped to the store, or if they corrected that from people complaining, and now it's free. I don't know, because uh, the hat that um, I'll be picking up tomorrow is actually only my third purchase since the Fanatics takeover of Lids. So this, I got the 20% discount on the apparel because I bought it off the website. Alright, looks like they're continuing how Fanatics always does. No packing slip in the package. If you follow my vlogs, you know that's an ongoing thing. They, on my Fanatics orders, they never ever have packing slips in them. So, I picked up this cool... Nike, this is a team issued Atlanta Braves shirt. You would like to see them wear this like in BP and stuff. Very, very nice. I don't know what you call this um, like pattern that they got going on. It's kind of like black streaks going across. They had this version, they had a light gray version, and I believe a navy version. Uh, red's my favorite color, so of course I went with that. So, got the Nike branding there, Braves, baseball MLB logo, then the traditional Braves A, retail for 35 so I got 20% off that, then I had to pay 5 for shipping, so I got like in the mid-20s. Uh, it's, it is made from made with a dry fit material, so that would be nice to wear in those real hot games here in Hotlanta. You got the MLB authentic tag. Uh, standard fit, the back, nothing fancy. 
with exception it has the uh, MLB logo up here done in mm, it's not really rubberized but it is like a screen printed on there so that's my third pickup and last but not least would be my other eBay pickup got a crazy steal on this I have this in well, I'll wait till I get it out and explain it all right this is used but it is in very good shape you got the Atlanta Braves they wear this like a military appreciation games and on and like um, special occasions I think that used to be the Friday Jersey if I'm not mistaken but uh, Atlanta Braves very very nice this is what they call the replica uh, I know most people, when they hear the word replica, they think fake. But when it comes to the jersey game, replica does not mean fake. Um, for those who are jersey collectors out there, replica just means it's not made with all the same qualities as the authentic. As for example, this is sewn on, but it's all one layer. So the stars you see and everything are all, all printed onto the material before it's sewn on. On the authentic version... It would actually be multiple layers of material. So on, um, I have an authentic version of, of this already. So it would be the navy and the white stacked on top of each other. Then the stars are like embordered on the authentic version. And the material is a little bit different on the authentic version. And of course, these retail for like 110 I believe. Then the authentic versions are like around probably the 260 to 275 range. So there's a huge difference in quality and price. To the naked eye, it looks the same from far away. So um, I don't buy a lot of these, but this is one hell of a steal. Plus, it's of a player that I'm personal friends with. So got a size XL. It is of my homeboy Evan Gaddis, who was also a member of the World Series Houston Astros. He is currently a free agent. I'm very shocked no one has signed him yet. I was bummed when the Braves got rid of him. Once again, on like the authentic version, this would be double tackle twill, meaning two layers of material. But this, the blue is screen printed onto the white, so it's all one layer. And we got his name Gaddis done in one layer. Got the MLB logo up here on the neckline. Got the majestic branding on the left sleeve. Then majestic branding once again down here on the bottom they refer to this as a cool base the original ones were called cool base um, up until a couple years ago and now I'm trying to remember what they call the technology um, I only have a couple of them in my collection I'm drawing a blank right now but they switched from cool base to some other like you know it's like a, a lighter version uh, material so the players don't get as hot. But I got this for eleven ninety five, And it's like, you know, it's damn good condition. Good as new. No more re retail for 110 Got for that low. I couldn't pass it up. Plus, it was of a player I know personally. So I was happy to add that to the collection. Definitely going to be wearing that at SunTrust Park this year. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Uh, be on the lookout. We've got some other big videos coming up. I just did my first sponsored video for Aparo brand. Go check that out. It'll be at, on the end screen here. Uh, I have another sponsored video coming up very, very soon with another company I'm very excited about. I want to keep that under wraps though until it happens. Uh, please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trans Unlimited merch in the description. Till next time, it's your boy Infamous C, the ATL Don, signing out. Peace. If In the trap on the block on my vest and my clock I'm that thug for my land Still ballin' like Pac If my C be my name They just trim my claim to fame Mafioso be the clip That's gonna